Hey, what is up YouTube? This is uh, Chris, and today I am bringing part two to my amazingly awesome uh, Minecraft Zombies fail. <laughs> okay, so if you missed the first episode, uh, I'm playing Minecraft, the, the Minecraft map for Custom Zombies World at War. Uh, I'm playing this before I went to work, so I had to go anyway, so I needed to end somehow. But I didn't want it to end the way it ended. I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of a spoiler, but not in entirely. Um, well, let me just say this. There is a Bible PPSH in this map, and it is... I'm not going to tell you how much, but it does cost money, and it is somewhat hidden. And there is also a Bible ending to this map, and I don't remember how much that is. I think it's like 50k points. <clears throat> But the ending of this, I fail pretty hard, and it's pretty funny when I'm done with the gameplay. I'm like, oh, F it! And then, you know, I'm laughing at myself or whatever. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, now I think I'm just, you know, running my trains. I've opened up into the cave a little bit. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to go buy Juggernaug. Actually, I think I'm going to go buy it, like, right now. After I kill off the rest of these zombies. Um, so yeah, you will see the rest of the map. The underground area is like... It's pretty cool. The above ground is like what you would see above ground in Minecraft. Um, the cave area is like you're in the caverns in Minecraft, and the underground part is like the nether. So that's pretty clever. Um, another reason why this map is probably one of my favorite custom zombie maps. Um, and there is Juggernaug, there is all the perks, like I've said before I think. There are a lot of Bible... Uh, power ups. There is a there is a wall flamethrower. If you want to buy a flamethrower, um, there is a pack a punch and some other stuff. There's the MP40 on the wall. There's the switch for a thousand. And I think I walk around. This opens eventually. I don't remember how. You got to turn the switches. And here's how you turn on the power. Hidden wall. Turn on the power. Yeah yo. Yeah. There's another switch. You got to press all the switches in order. And there's the Bible, there's an Enderman. You can't see his head, I didn't feel like crouching. Uh, there's the Bible double points. <clears throat> and here you will see there's a Panzer Shrek, the nether portion, there's another button. Um, and there's a long hallway down here. I guess I'll just talk this. Cause I do have something I want to tell you today. It's kind of funny, but not really. There's a Thompson. I don't have enough for Juggernaut yet. And there's a door right there. To teleport back up to the top and I think if you do fall in those gaps uh, it will kill you <laughs> and there's two hidden walls one has another a switch I'm not really sure what it does something special is waiting for you and then there's the flamethrower <clears throat> and there's juggernaut that was on the left okay and there is a zombie counter this this map is pretty cool with that um, so let me get to what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about, okay, so I've started working part-time at Subway, and I've seen a couple funny, crazy things while I've been working. Um, one of the main things I've seen is there was a couple come in that looked kind of sketchy in the first place, and, you know, they ordered two sandwiches, one got a foot long, one got a six inch, blah, 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 and uh, whenever they were done, the girl took her sandwich and like dropped like the whole bag on the floor and I'm just like okay she just maybe she's clumsy I don't know and she picks it up she goes over to the table where they are possibly going to sit and <clears throat> um, they talk for a little bit they don't ever sit down they talk for a little bit and um, they come back to the register and then they start an argument what they argue is, of course, when you make the sandwiches, and I, ma I made both, th I made both sandwiches. When you make the sandwiches, you have to wear the plastic gloves, you know, of course, for um, sanitation reasons. But when I passed the sandwich off to the dude that was checking them out, <clears throat> he wrapped it up without gloves on, and they said that they wanted, that they, you know, didn't want to eat there anymore. That oh, well, you just lost two customers for the future, and, you know, we were like, well, we can just give you your money back, and I was even like, well, shoot, I'll, I'll make you two more, dude, and they were like, no, 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 keep the money, keep the money, whatever, and they just, like, walked out, 
and you know it was a big old argument like the 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 checker router said that well i wrapped it up and i touched the wrappers only i never touched your sandwich with my hands and remember that he's not wearing gloves and you know they're all like yelling or whatever so my question is is that really necessary <laughs> like I mean, even if somebody made your sandwich without gloves on, uh, you're not gonna die. I mean, people might argue with me that maybe you could, but honestly, in my opinion, the gloves are necessary when you're making the sandwich, but other than that, they're not really necessary. And I mean, for all the sanitation reasons, like, it is good that employees have to wash their hands all the time, I mean, I do, but... The, I mean, your your body has immune systems and they fight against germs, you know. You At home, you make sandwiches uh, with your bare hands all the time. What's the difference with somebody else making your sandwich with clean hands because they wash them? Uh, what's, the, what's the difference? I mean, you're, you don't wear gloves at your house, so why are you going to complain at Subway just to raise a ruckus? I don't know. In my opinion, this dude just, he just wanted to start something. And, I don't know, some people are just too picky. The only other really picky person I've had coming to Subway was, like, my very first day, and that was my fault. That was my fault. I think she was Muslim because she had the, the full headgear and, like, the dress and everything. Um, and apparently Muslims can't have alcohol. It might be against their religion. I'm not sure. Um, but I accidentally put vinegar on her sandwich because I, I thought she said vinegar and oil. And I put like maybe a fifth of vinegar on there and then before she stopped me and she was like, no, 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 I didn't say vinegar, I didn't say vinegar. And I was like, oh crap. And I was like, well, sorry. And she said, I can't have that sandwich now. And I was like, really? I mean, it, the vinegar soaks in. I just made you this whole sandwich and you can't eat any of it because I put a little vinegar on the sandwich. I mean, I don't know. So I think some people are just kind of picky, um, honestly. But other than that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's the pack punch, by the way. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess people can do that. I mean, they are paying for you to make their sandwich, so you might as well make it good, you know. Um, <clears throat> and this right here teleports you to the diamond house, and it doesn't work yet, I don't think. But that switch, I think it opened the diamond house. Like, you can't open the diamond house from the outside like you can the other houses um, you have to open it from that switch so yeah but yeah that was my little those are my little two little stories and I mean those are my questions you can leave you can leave comments and stuff in the comment section section but um, I mean it's just whatever I mean there's picky people in the world the dude didn't want a sandwich because he thought the dude touched it I mean it's just whatever see you later bruh um, and I was like, oh crap, 3,000, what? I'm gonna have to go through a whole nother round just to open that freaking door. And that's the door to the Bible ending, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's my. those are my Subway stories. If you guys have anything to add, you know, anybody that works fast food, maybe you got a crazy story, um, share it. Okay, but yeah, I think right now I was like a little bit panicking because I didn't have a gun that was decent. And here I get the painter truck again. I was like, mother of <laughs> and I didn't have enough to go again, so I am starting the round with a Panzer Shrek and I think an MP40 with low ammo. I don't remember what it said. I was like, bitch, blow you up, dog. Okay, but yeah, there are six houses out on top. There's two on the right and three on the left and one in the end. And uh, if you've never played this map, the one on the end has Mystery Box. The Diamond House has the portal. Um, the f that house to your right, right there, it has a Bible insta-kill, I think. And the house on the left, the Brick House, has the PPSH and the um, Bible ending. And the house right to, right to my left, you can't see it anymore, it has a jukebox that plays the music. And so, I don't know, in my opinion, the MP40 is, like, one of the best zombie guns. Like, uh, playing Black Ops, playing, uh, Kino... Kino. Dern, Kino Dertoten, I think. Something like that. I think that was my favorite 
gun to get. I mean, I don't know. I like the iron sights on the MP40. It has a nice uh, max ammo clip. It has a nice, you know, ammo space, 32 bullets per clip, and like 190 extra bullets or something. It's just a, a great gun. If you add double tap to it, it's just like a birthday party, and like all your favorite celebrities are at your birthday party. So, yeah, that's how awesome it is. Um... My mind just went blank. <laughs> it kind of takes long to reload. And I still have the Panzer Shrek. And I am about out of ammo. Yeah, low ammo. I have like four bullets left. And I have 52 zombies left. I'm like, this is some BS. And I get out the... Uh, I have Molotov cocktails because I accidentally traded my monkey bombs for them. And they don't really do anything, honestly. The pro zombie dodge. Um... So yeah, this video has like three minutes left because I'm looking at the time. I think after this round, it's over. <laughs> so, I didn't get a chance to do anything. I will beat this map for you guys. And I am about to buy... See, look at that. It doesn't do anything. I was like, golly, these things suck. I am about to buy World at War like right now. Um, so, anybody that plays World at War and has Skype, I definitely want to play with you and make a commentary with you because I freaking love World at War Zombies. I'm about to start playing uh, the new, I guess it's a new map, um, it's called Zeba Farm. It's a little bit hard. I tried it this morning and I was like, I don't know where anything is, you know, it's kind of a tricky map, so I looked up a video on it. I just watched one video um, and I kind of know where things are now. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a live commentary with that and upload that because I think it'll be pretty awesome. It looks it's a pretty awesome map. Um, so I'm excited to bring that to you guys, and it'll probably be it might be like a two or three or four part video. I know recording with Fraps is gonna be like freaking 50 gigabytes because I'll probably be playing it for a long time. And with Fraps, downloading with Fraps, it's like a gigabyte a minute. Uh, it's really weird. If anybody has a better a better way of recording gameplay, uh, please let me know because Fraps takes up so much memory. I've actually used the Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. I really like that, except I don't think it records games. So, that kind of sucks. And right here, I'm kind of in a bind because I don't have any ammo. These zombies are freaking freaking chasing me like crazy and let's see let's see I kill him how many are left I don't have any left this is the end this is it okay so I'm like oh shit I gotta go get this gun I don't have any weapon I don't have any ammo I didn't buy a, a mp40 ammo because I, I was I was like a hundred percent sure I was gonna make it to this house which I did but what happens is I open the house I thought the I honestly thought the PPSH was free. It's in a hidden wall. I get there, two thousand. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, and then this is the end. <laughs> and then I got a max ammo. I don't know how I didn't die, but then there I'm dead, and that's the end. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video, and please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatevs, and I will see you guys later.